funded the grant. We have never seen that grant, and we have never funded that grant. Well, let's get to the bottom of it. That was Dr. Anthony Fauci on Tuesday, once again changing the subject to mislead after Kansas Senator Roger Marshall asked him about Project Veritas documents that revealed his agency greenlit gain-of-function research in Wuhan, China, and at sites across the country in the United States, despite the Department of Defense rejecting the same study over safety concerns of gain-of-function research. James O'Keefe is the founder of Project Veritas, and he says he's committed to exposing corruption at the highest levels of government and media. His new book, American Muckraker, hits bookstores on January 25th, and we are happy to have him ahead of that release. James, good morning to you. Thanks very much for being here. Good morning, Rand. Tell us about those documents that were just referenced in the hearing. What do they tell us? Well, uh, EcoHealth Alliance approached DARPA, which is a division of the Department of Defense, and uh, uh, for this funding on the gain of function, and it was rejected on the Grover safety concerns, which flies in direct opposition to Anthony Fauci's testimony. So we had a source come to us with these documents written by a Marine Corps Major, Joe Murphy is his name. We reached out to that Marine Corps Major for comment, and uh, all of this was mentioned in the hearing. Fauci mentioned Project Veritas by name, but DARPA rejected uh, the proposal because it was too risky. They cited safety concerns. So the question remains, why did Fauci proceed with that gain of function research under NIAID when the Department of Defense thought it was too risky. Fauci also seemed to corroborate the authenticity of the documents in the hearing, but he sort of changed the subject and deflected. Obviously, the two uh, grants would have not been identical. So there are a lot of questions here, and uh, Fauci's in the hot seat after the story that came out on Monday. So, so how could he sit there under oath and say that the documents out of Project Veritas were distorted? Connect the dots for us. Well, it could be a deflection because the grant that was presented by Equal Health Alliance to DARPA may not have been identical to the one that uh, Fauci proceeded with under NIAID. But there's no question these documents are real, Maria. I mean, we, we corroborated them. The Marine Corps Major gave a statement on the record. This is a former fellow at DARPA. So the documents are 100% uh, authentic. Uh, people can pull into question the Marine Corps Major who wrote them. But there really is an inconsistency here, and now we've had members of Congress, also a United States Senator Ron Johnson has written a letter to the Department of Defense, so a lot of questions here remain unanswered, and Project Veritas is going to be doing more reporting on this, and uh, the Marine Corps Major who, who gave us this statement, again, the Marine Corps Major was not the source of these documents, but he authored them, um, he has said there are more people on the inside that are going to be coming out. And of course, Maria, there's nowhere else for these people to go. They can't go to the Washington Post. They can't go to any of the large media corporations because they're just busy defending Fauci. They're really one of the only places they can go is Project Veritas, to Veritas Tips at ProtonMail.com. That's where these whistleblowers well, go. And that's well, how we got the information. Well, we have been reporting as well on the administration's uh, really censoring of important uh, drugs to treat COVID. We don't understand why they have been censored. Also, Dr. Fauci's reported $10 million portfolio includes Chinese companies. We want to talk about that. Let's slip in a short break. I don't know how Fauci can maintain this when we already know that the NIH admitted that they had, in fact, funded gain-of-function research. Stay with us,